Welcome back, everybody. Last time you saw, we built the gas tank floor and fiberglassed it in. In today's episode, we are measuring, cutting out, and fiberglassing the caps that are going to go over all the bulkhead pieces to the sides of the stringers. So I got all of the bulkhead caps cut out and put into place. You can see, just cut some of that plywood. And then I curved the edges nicely. But now we are good to go ahead and glue these in. fiberglass over this part of the bulkhead here. We did it in two pieces, one big piece and then a tiny piece on the end there. You can kind of see it spliced together just to get good coverage around the end. It went down really well. As you can see there's really not any air bubbles. The most important part to me was making sure we get it flat across the top so that way when we're laying down the deck it'll lay down nicely. Turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Time to do the rest of it. All right, guys. Well, we got four of our bulkhead caps. Well, really the whole bulkhead fiberglassed in. We've got both of these up here. You can see how nicely it went down. Real nice and flat over the top. Really minimal air bubbles. And then also that side, and then also the two back here. So really pleased with those. The next pieces I'm going to do next are going to be on the sides of the stringer. And you can see I've already got the piece laid out for this one right here. 
as well as this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and glass those in now. Then we'll see what I do next. <laughs> two side pieces fiberglassed on there and they're drying now turned out pretty good no big air bubbles you can see a tiny little uh, leaf got stuck under there that's gonna be perfectly fine though it's really not that big of a concern overall it turned out really great I did try something new or different on this one as you may have noticed is that normally I lay the fiberglass down paint over the back, and then paint on the surface I'm going to put it on, and then put it up there. With this one, I just left it in place and just started applying the resin straight on it. Now it did still work, as you can see. Um, the only thing is that it just takes longer for that resin to penetrate through all the fiberglass to start making contact with the surface to make it sticky. It turned out okay though. I think I still prefer my other method more. Anyways, so next up, I've already cut out a piece for right here for the engine mount spot. And this is going to be the first piece that goes over it. Then I'll do another piece up and over each side. And then another piece in the middle that goes up to here. I might do one to here and then another from here over this to this side. So as you can see on this side, I do still need to come up and over that. To meet with where I went up with the fiberglass on this side. So that's the next piece I got cut out to do. So I'm gonna do that one now. <laughs> pleased with how it turned out. The next piece we're going to be doing is in the corners you can see I've already got them laid out sort of tabbing the stringers into the transom and the back wall. So I've got one on this side and then on top and then on this side and the same thing over there. So that's the next piece that I'm going to go ahead and do now. more pieces done went down pretty nicely you can barely even tell where they went down at which I guess that's the idea if you get them done really well they're almost fully transparent with no air bubbles so now that those are done the next two pieces I think I'll do will probably be this side on the inside here in that side. So I gotta go get those cut out now.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we're just letting those dry up. Went down pretty good. I used just the right amount of resin, so I couldn't be happier with that. Now we've got just about all of the engine bay area done. All right, we got them glued in, one on that side, and then one on this side. They went down nicely. So now, what I've got next is I went ahead and cut a lot of pieces. You can see for the last two bulkheads up at the front there, and there, and then that front center bulkhead at the very front. I got three pieces cut out for that one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, gluing these in. All right, as you can see, I've got quite a few pieces of fiberglass laid out to do up around the stringers up here. After I finish these pieces, I'm actually gonna be done with fiberglassing the stringers as far as I need them before I put the pour foam and the tops of these to fill up the inner cavities, which is what I'm hoping to do later today. So that's why I'm trying to get this done right now in one fail swoop. So let's go ahead and get to it. pieces glued down it took one hour of applying the polyester resin I went through I don't know how many cups at least like five or six brushes a few pairs of nitrile gloves it was quite a bit went down really nicely though now I'm just letting it dry and that is where we are going to end today's episode, guys. I want to give a huge thank you for watching. And I want to give a giant thank you to 142 subscribers. You guys are the best. And coming up in the next episode, we are going to be drilling holes in the top of the stringers. And then we are going to be pouring foam inside those cavities and then fiberglassing over the top. So stay tuned for that. But that is going to do it for today. I will see you guys next time.